there have always been stories of, particularly with the Conservative <coughs> Party, of the influence of donors. It's been washing around for a few years now, the question over whether people can buy their way into influence um, with the Prime Minister or the Cabinet Ministers. But the Sunday Times has got a list now of um, several donors who have supposedly been meeting uh, with organised meetings, one of them actually, as it happens, at the time when Boris Johnson and Carrie were pictured having cheese and wine in the garden um, on that controversial meeting, um, giving advice as to whether they want taxes lowered, whether they want restrictions removed throughout the pandemic, including some quite controversial or we might just say interesting figures. So the, um, the wife of Putin's former finance minister um, was asking for, allegedly asking for a lowering in of taxes of the wealthy. Lord Spencer um, was given a peerage after giving millions to the Conservative Party. And that was the kind of, if that's not controversial enough, there was the, the outline in the Times that he had previously been blocked because of one of his firms had been allegedly involved in a scandal. There's also an individual here who is uh, allegedly facing a trial for rape and sexual assault, who even after that um, was announced was invited back for meetings. So there seems to be a certain amount of dodgy dealings going on. But I think probably the bigger question is, aside from sort of questions of corruption, is does Boris Johnson just listen to the last person who talks in his ear? Because we know that from... We've had a problem from Dominic Cummings to now questions about his wife, Carrie Johnson, of who has influence over the Prime Minister. It's looking increasingly like this man of principle who he already... Who, I mean, I know that's a bit of a stretch of Boris Johnson, but he sold himself <laughs> as having a particular kind of ideology. He was a libertarian. He stood for these kind of things. It's now becoming increasingly clear that he really is uh, flailing and is just listening to the last aid or um, influencer who spoke in his ear. And I think that's a real problem for democracy. Mm -hmm.